we are back with my favorite segment of all time, every time, aesthetics. Oh. <laughs> Where we talk about the aesthetics of baseball, the logos, the uniforms, everything that, that goes visually with the game. Uh, you and I are always garbed in paraphernalia for our favorite team. So whether you like to admit it or not, we are all fans of aesthetics. This week, we are talking about a team we are not a fan of whatsoever. But bring it up. The Minnesota Twins got a complete rebrand. Uh, kind of. Uh, yeah, <laughs> if you if you want to call it that. They're, they themed the event uh, inspired by the past, built for the future. Ooh. They took a look at their uniforms over their all their years, their illustrious years in the great white North uh, and took the best that they, that they had and kind of simplified it. They, they were getting a little bit out of hand in the last few years. They added gold to their, I don't know if you even noticed this. They added like a gold outline to a lot of their stuff. I, yeah, I did notice that last year. Yeah. But in general, they're like the majority of major league teams. They're Navy blue and red. That's almost everybody. There's actually two teams in this AL central alone that are Navy blue and red with the fucking guardians as well, but it's hard to tell them apart, but the twins really leaned into their history, uh, took some kind of look at, uh, simplified and kind of modernized all of their logos. I honestly, I hate to admit it. I actually like what they did. I'm a, I'm a graphic designer by trade. One of of my mantras is simpler is always better. And they have simplified a lot of their look. And I think it looks really classic and, and sharp. Uh, they have a new, the course, TC intertwined logo on their caps. They've kind of streamlined that. They've made some minor adjustments to that. Kind of makes it flow a little better. They have a new hat with an M on it with a with a North Star. Do you see that one there? Yeah, that's the Marlins M. How original. Yeah, I thought it kind of looked like a like a Canadian football logo. It could be on a helmet in, like for the Montreal Alouettes or whatever they're called. Uh, I thought that one is a little bit odd. And obviously, yeah, it does look a lot like the Marlins M. Our uh, former Marlins M. I have to speak about a team that's rebranded a million times, but uh, they've got a retro uniform that says Twin Cities across the front, which I thought was kind of cool. Just um, replaced with the term Royals across it, and it'll look just pretty yeah, much the similar, same. Similar font, uh, similar yeah. script, but. I don't know. I liked it. I, it's fun to rip on them. They added like a Minnesota shape with a, with that same star over the M in, in the Twin Cities area, kind of a map. Uh, what else did they have? They had the... Well, they got the gray to... jersey that looks pretty much like the old gray jersey. Yeah, they brought back the pinstripes for the road, yeah. road uniform. Um, overall, it's just a bunch of new hats, new jerseys. They got the third, like the third jersey, the the solid blue, the navy blue jersey. Yeah, they've got one that reads Minnesota. And, yeah, and pretty pretty simple, plain letters. There's no outlines. There's no drop shadows. That's what I kind of liked about it. It's kind of a throwback. Like if you think about it, like the Yankees don't have any outlines around any of their shit. The the Dodgers don't. It's just it's just kind of a flat classic look. Yeah, Tiger Tigers have all sorts of outlines. You can see my my Yvonne Rodriguez t-shirt here. It's got outlines around everything. Your white Sox have a gray or white outline around a lot of stuff. Yeah, they do. So it's just, it's just kind of a, a different, more of a classic look, which I think is kind of cool with it for the, the twins. So I, I will give the twins very few, uh, very few compliments, but I think they did a good job with this new rebrand. I think it's boring. I think it's <laughs> borrowed. I think it's Valid. unimaginative. And what what even makes me laugh harder is the first time when I saw the image there, I, I don't know if you saw like the 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 like announcement image where in in behind them is like Minnesota, yeah, but yeah. like the players are standing in front of it. It looks like the Cubs marquee. I noticed that too. I knew exactly. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, just and like I'm like that. I'm like, could you guys have maybe like is is, is was it was the attempt to get people to buy everything just because they like what which which is actually good marketing in a way but is it is it to get them to buy everything because it just looks like things they all like already yeah and i think that might be it yeah 
But I, I'm I'm thoroughly unimpressed, not just because <laughs> it's the Minnesota Twins. I think that's because, to do with it, but. but it and I, and and to your point, I never read the idea that it was like they went back and looked and wanted oh, to do like yeah, a I'm greatest, such a dork about all this. I read uh, all of it and watched a the greatest hits and... package, so to speak, of like their their favorite uniforms along the way. So now I, it makes a little more sense to me. But I have to admit, I was reading about it before they were unveiled. But so. still. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's kind of boring and blase. I, to me, the best jersey, the the most, the, the one that I would give a a middle finger up to is the mm. Twin Cities jersey. Yeah, I thought that was cool. It's kind of like a cream throwback, yeah. color. Kind of, but that's the one look. that also sort of looks like uh, the Royals font yeah. in a way. But whatever. But overall. If I'm going to rate the jerseys, I'm going to give them two middle fingers down. Oh, two down. Okay. I think I'm going to rate them. Boy, I'm such a sucker for all this. I'm bored. Uh, you, I'm you bored. Have, you, have val- you have valid points. So maybe I'll rate it for the first time ever. I'm going to rate one middle finger up, one middle finger down. All right. So that, like halfway, I don't Here know. Here we go. Look at how our beautiful, system works, but a beautiful, a beautiful form of democracy, folks. If <laughs> if only government can function like Smitty and I do, yeah. a lot more things would get done. Yeah, there'd be a lot more turmoil. <laughs> than we have. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, thank you for participating. I always have to thank you for actually paying attention to this and all the Word Hole Media.